up guys it's freddy here again um and the second video from uh, on this page where i'm going to show you a step by step how you can build a blog from scratch and pretty much take it to success and pretty much make money online with your blog uh, in the in the uh previous video i was uh, i showed you how to buy a domain name and you know it's, it's very simple um it's so simple that sometimes i don't know why i did that video but again uh there are so many people out there that probably don't know how to do everything so i had to show them so here i'm going to show you how to set up your hosting account and the one i'm going to be using is um hostgator so let's go ahead and go to hostgator uh you're probably going to see a uh link below the video so you can go to hostgator and buy a hosting account they have pretty cheap hosting here so uh the one i recommend you to use to buy the one i use too um is the baby plan all right so let's go click on view web hosting plans of course you know i bought the domain name from scratch you know you saw me buy the domain name live i'm not going to buy a hosting account because i i already have one i already have you know um, a lot of hosting plans so i'm not going to buy that again uh, i'm just going to show you the one that you want to use uh, the one i recommend you to use is the one in the middle the one called uh, baby plan that's the one i have right now um, i'm going to probably you know upgrade soon to better servers to my own server because you know i'm getting more traffic to my blog but right now to get started you know this is how i got started you know with the baby plan uh, that's if you if you're going to have a lot of domain names, you know, if you are planning to have uh, subdomains, you know, you want to have one or two or three blogs. I have a lot of blogs, so that's why I picked this one too. And when I started online, I always wanted to, you know, work on, on a lot of blogs at a time. Uh, that that is not something I recommend you to do, you know. But um, you know, basically what you want to do is build one at a time so you know it is basically up to you you know if you are going to only work on one domain name then maybe you want to get the cheapest one here maybe that's the one you can afford right now uh but if you are planning to build more blogs then get the one in the middle for now it's, it's at a good price and it's probably something that you know most people can't afford so uh once you buy it uh you know that they, they are going to send you a an email and tell you how to log into your C panel, your control panel, so you can uh, access your website. You know, you can uh, control all of your stuff in there, your hosting account. So let me log into my hosting, to my C panel. Make sure to follow all of the emails so all, and all of the information HostGator is going to give you for you to come to this page and log into your hosting account uh, to your cpanel all right so here is the cpanel that you are going to see once you get hostgator and pretty much you know here is where you have everything to control your sites you know you have um you can create emails you know you can uh, install any software on the site you have a website uh builder you can create subdomains you know add domains you can pretty much do uh control everything uh, off your site from here all right so but right now remember we bought our domain from godaddy so what we need to do is connect the domain name from godaddy to the hostgator hosting account what you want to do here once you come to your control panel is scroll down all the way down all right scroll all the way down and on the bottom left you're going to see uh, your account information right so you can see here and what we're going to use is the name servers you know that's all we need right now to connect your you know your domain name to your hosting account so that's what we need and once your domain name is ready to go let me go back one step uh, so I can show you how to access that page 
so what we want to do is find the domain name that we bought right here it is freedom training that info that's the one I bought in the previous video and we want to click on launch all right so we it is going to take us to another page where you are going to see your domain details you know uh, here is all of the things that you are going to see and what you want to do here is look for the name servers because that is what we are going to change right the name servers is what um, is going to connect to hostgator is going to be pointing to their service all right so all right let me show you this real quick so you find name servers and then you click on manage right here right under the uh, the, the name servers so click on manage and I'm going to do this with you because this is a brand new domain name and the next thing we want to do is click on custom all right because we are going to put our own dom uh, name servers because we have our own hosting account right so we want to highlight the first one copy it and then add new server or add name server and well we're going to paste one right here and well another one the second one right there and then add name server oh oops okay so that should be good you know you only need to do this you know with uh, two name servers so there you go once you have this click on save and right here on the right you go, you are going to see um, a little of, uh, message and it says changes may take a few moments to take effect all right so you gotta wait a couple of minutes you know I mean sometimes it's very fast uh, it doesn't take too long depending on you know how many people is doing the same thing right so um, right now it's nighttime so probably not too many people is doing this I mean I don't know but uh, so you wait a couple of minutes right once you have that make sure that that is uh, you see that this name servers on here and so far you know you don't see them yet right you don't see them there yet so well, what I, what I want to do is probably refresh the page and there you go so you might want to also check your email to see you know when when, uh, when your site is ready GoDaddy is going to send you an email and you can see right here uh, well this is just an email to let me know that everything was successfully done but that's about it so anyways once you wait a couple of minutes uh, what you want to do here in uh, HostGator I'm just going to do it right now um, I'm assuming everything is ready so I'm gonna do it right now you feel free to try it yourself right now uh, but if anything goes wrong then maybe you should have waited a little bit longer but it, it doesn't matter um, if anything goes wrong just wait you know just wait a little bit and try to um, work on the site again so after you've changed the name servers you want to click on domains all right you want to find the section called domains on your cPanel and then click on add on domains because we are going to add a new domain to this hosting account right so click on add on domains so we can uh, put this domain in there right so the new domain name is freedom training wait a minute and and look you have um, you know hostgator offers you tutorials if you need help you know whenever you need help in I don't you know and I'm not teaching you something that you need to you know that you want to know you know feel free to use other trainings all right okay so the new domain name is freedom training dot info all right 
let's see okay maybe i didn't let uh, the, i didn't let the page load completely so it usually you know fills everything out for you so anyways let me go again all right so now i'm up typing the domain freedom training wait a minute freedom training that info all right so so as you can see everything is filled up for you as except for the password and here is where you put your password all right so put your password make sure everything is you know uh, good to go and then click on add domain and we'll wait a little bit and it's loading so this is pretty much what you do uh, to connect your GoDaddy domain name to your HostGator account and everything is good to go all right so now that we are done with GoDaddy, uh, we no longer need to be on the page. So close it, and you know, unless you are going to change things around on your don domain name or you are going to change a hosting account, uh, you we don't need to go back to GoDaddy.com ever again, unless you are going to renew your stuff. Uh, but anyways, uh, everything is ready to go now. You can see the domain name right here. You can either redirect that domain, right? You you have that ability here, you know. But we are we are building a blog site, right? So, anyways. So once that is done, we go back to the main site, the main control panel page, and the next thing we want to do, uh, really quickly, let's check out the domain name and see what's in there. Freedom training that info. All right, so go to your domain name and check it out and see uh, what comes up. And as you can see, you know, the domain name is taking a little bit to, lo uh, to load. And like I told you, you know, it's probably because I have, you know, you have to wait a little bit before you do, you set everything up. Uh, so right now, all I could do is just wait to set up the WordPress blogging platform but you already know how to connect your GoDaddy to your hosting account and that, that was my goal with the video uh, it's very simple I already told, told you the steps uh, you can do this right away if you want to uh, right after you buy the domain name uh, you know I told you in the in the other video to wait a couple of minutes before you do this but you can also, if you're in a rush a little bit, you could do this right away. You know, you go buy the domain name, buy the hosting account. Once you buy the domain name, you come here, scroll down, find your name servers, and then go to your GoDaddy account, find your domain, open it so you can see the name servers, and then change the name servers to the HostGator serv name servers. All right. I hope that makes sense and what well, you can see here uh, the, do the, the domain name is is not loading yet because you know it's brand new alright so you need to give it some time like I said so once you do that uh, in the next video I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on the site on your new domain and then after you install WordPress, I'm going to show you how to build the WordPress site. I'm going to show you exactly what I've done to my website, to my sites. You know, I've built very cool sites um, so far. I have very powerful sites and you can see my blog right here. I mean, this is one of my creations. You know, I didn't pay anybody else to create this for me. I didn't outsource anything. I did everything myself. And that is because, you know, I like to do everything myself. But if you feel like you have uh, you, you don't want to take too much time doing this, you know, and you have some money to in, in to outsource, then maybe you can pay somebody else to do all of this for you. But 
but if you can't then you or if you want you want uh you could do it yourself you know uh so i'm going to show you how to build a site like this maybe uh, uh let me show you another website that i have another one of my vlogs this is another blog i have and as you can see you know it's a simple it's cool it, you know in this pretty much these blogs you know make me money you know they get me leads and then i'm building that list with uh, you know all of my sites you know i have a capture form here and there so anyways i'm going to show you everything on the next video i just wanted to show you how to connect your godaddy domain name to your uh, host gator uh account and you know do that and then get ready to install wordpress all right so i'll see you in the next video